Notion, click up, notion, click up, notion, click up, notion, click up. Can't even say it fast. But what I can say is that I don't have a definitive answer for you as to whether it's the right product for you because I don't know you. But I can tell you some of the differences between the products and let you know that uh, it's all about preference. And I'm going to break down for you which types of things you can expect from each product if you're trying to decide this year. And I'm going to break it down into a few different categories, starting with pricing. So from a pricing standpoint, Notion has the free forever plan, which is great. Uh, they actually are kind enough to break it down in different rates. Over here, they have the plus plan, which is $8 per month, which allows you to have unlimited blocks for teams, unlimited file uploads, and this is a nice thing that people enjoy the 30 day page history, just in case anything gets changed by other people. And you have the ability on the free plan to invite 10 guests, but on the plus plan, you can invite 100 guests, which is huge. Then on the business plan, you have the ability to invite 250 guests, have private team spaces. So just a higher level of access when it comes to who can be in what. And then when it comes to ClickUp's pricing, they have a free forever plan as well that showcases all the different aspects of what you can do unlimited tasks unlimited free plan members docs whiteboards a bunch of different items and then on their seven dollar per month plan they allow you to have unlimited dashboards no cap on integrations unlimited storage email inside of ClickUp, which is great resource management a lot of different views get added as well like form view and then on the business plan they have things like advanced automations, custom exporting, goal folders, timelines, and mind maps. So as you upgrade in ClickUp, you get like more tiers of views and options of things. Whereas in Notion, you essentially just go from having like limited file storage to unlimited file storage, inviting more guests, having unlimited blocks for teams. It's interesting how like there's a much different pricing difference in the sense that you get more stuff as you go up in the click up plans from what it seems, whereas kind of cap out at that $8 per month plan with Notion because most of it comes right out of the box. Now they both have an AI product. ClickUp AI is actually $5 per month, whereas Notion AI is $8 per member per month. So that's a big difference as well. And if you're going monthly on the Notion AI plan, it's actually $10 per month too. Whereas it seems like it's just a flat $5 per month with ClickUp AI. Now, when it comes to Notion, I'm going to keep it honest with you. In this second category, they are losers. This category is integrations. If I go to the integrations page that I have inside of my ClickUp account versus my Notion account, you're going to be like, uh -huh. yeah, you're right. So ClickUp first and foremost does have, you know, things like email. A blatant difference is, I mean, look at this app center. I mean, it's just, it's huge. I mean, look at all the, look at all these, these integrations. These are, these are ridiculous. Toggle, like seriously, installing toggle inside of this having an API token time track with my project management. Yeah, that's, I mean, look at all these integrations. This is ridiculous. You just don't see this inside of Notion and it'd be native and it actually works with your project management and with your fields and that kind of stuff. Like seriously, it's, it's awesome. I mean, Google Calendar Sync, a thing here, not a thing in Notion. Google Drive, both exist. Slack, both exist. But besides, you know, Slack and Google Drive, like Notion really doesn't have much. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, I, I'm just still irritated. Like, ClickUp has a Chrome extension. Like, Notion doesn't have a Chrome extension. It's, it's crazy to me. You know how obvious it is that there's more integrations? There's categories of integrations here. Whereas the Notion side of things, if you go to My Connections, you see that there are a bunch of different third-party ones that I've added. But if I go to See All, there are some here, but you'll you'll notice something which is link preview. What does that mean? Literally, you're just signing into your account and then you can view things via like it not being a hyperlink, but it's that shows the link preview of the items in there. Like it's not actually a integration. Importing Evernote is not actually an integration. Like none of these <laughs> are actually integrations. You see where it says sync with GitHub? That is an actual integration. Jira, that is an actual integration. You know when these came out? Over a year ago. Like I'm not impressed. Like the, the integrations, I've been harping on Notion about this for literally four years. It's not on the top of the priority list. So if you don't care about integrations, just zip your mouth. Just use make.com, Zapier, those sort of things. Relay, that app. Yeah, ClickUp's killing them there. Now, when it comes to freedom, what I mean by freedom is the ability to go into a page and like I, I've made an entire system on top of Notion, the Notion app system, my template you can get in the description down below at riseproductive.com slash Notion app system with hyphens in between the words. Yeah, uh, I made this entire thing and I can move blocks around 
and have it be an entirely new world inside of this, right? It's a canvas that I can play on. Now with ClickUp, it's a bunch of different databases that I can interact with. It's not a canvas system. It's limited to different boards and views and that kind of thing. Like it's databases. And sure, there are docs inside of it, but those docs don't coincide in databases in the same way because it's not a bunch of pages that have databases in them. It's a bunch of databases that could have pages in them. See the difference? It's not quite the same. Like having fields for a page is different than it being a page that has fields on it, which is Notion's case. But if you're the kind of person that's interested in it more from a not the freedom of things and be able to make multiple columns and, you know, this is where the databases lie and that sort of thing, ClickUp is the better route. If you want a predefined UI UX, go with ClickUp. Definitely a recommendation. Like you have a section for docs right? You have a section for whiteboards. It has dashboards that Notion does not have, like the ability to create a dashboard based on your tasks. This is good. This is nice for project management and businesses. If you want to have third party things that end up making this possible, because you like that freedom of a canvas like me, go with Notion instead of ClickUp. But there's friends of mine who use ClickUp and I mean, there's no animosity there. It makes sense. Like the fact that it has this task completed this week thing was made, you know, and Sure, I, I could go into edit mode and move these things around, and that's nice, but it's all modular based off a preset defined thing. Whereas in Notion, you can get a little bit more granular with, but it also doesn't have the ability to, you know, even make these dashboards. A lot of times you have to use third party apps, so it's not as fun. And ClickUp does get another win in the sense that it has more unique things. Like obviously it has docs, which is great. And you can go in here and you know, create documents that look similar to Notion pages. They just don't really function, I guess, in my opinion, in the same way. They, they're they better than they used to be. They used to be bad, but like now they work fine. And they do, they're basically, draw, you know, want to be Notion pages, if we're being honest. Like, look at this slash and then, oh, there's a bunch of different options and a bunch of different embeds and formatting adjustments, you know, similar to what you'd have in Notion, like with columns and whatnot. And they put their own spin on it and I appreciate it. But... What you do have is also things like dashboards, as I showed, and whiteboards, like going through this project workflow example. This is a flowchart that I made in here, and I could link this to something else in my ClickUp tasks. That's not something you can do inside Notion, right? Like you could even make a task or a doc pop in here. Like imagine if Notion could do that. It just can't. It's really frustrating that it just doesn't have these kind of like things that ClickUp does. So if you want like more options of views too. In Notion, we don't have mind maps. We don't have whiteboards. We don't have workload, team views. I mean, I just have uh, more limited options of different databases. Now, if they're not that bad view wise, I mean, we got table, board, timeline, calendar, list, gallery. I remember when they added timeline, like they add stuff. It'll take time, but they'll add stuff. ClickUp's definitely focused on more of the project management side of things and Notion's doing some of that, but not as much from like a database perspective, I would say. They have more uniqueness in other ways, like the page layouts and I guess the overall feel of the product and the vibe is also just better. Like that's, that's a, like if you care, another point is if you care about vibes, Notion's aesthetic is gonna be a little bit better for you. Like you can see the fact that if I go to a wiki inside of this, this looks better than having just a bunch of different pages inside of like click up. I don't know how to describe it. You go to the docs, company home. Let me use, let me create a wiki here. Cool. I'm going to go full screen on it. Tell me this doesn't look like not as good. <laughs> like there's definitely something that can be said about Notion's aesthetic. Take a look at this. Like to me, at least this is the difference. I like the styling on all that stuff. And if you like the styling and you want to work in a, you know, product that really does matter to some people. So to me, like the ability to, you know, actually go within sub pages and stuff. Like I can't like, sure. Can I make a page in here? Yeah. Okay. Does it feel, no, nah, this, it just doesn't feel right being here. Like <laughs> feels like what I just did was dirty and wrong. <laughs> like I don't know how to describe it. You, I think you probably get what I'm saying on the aesthetic side. There's a reason people use Notion, but more database types of views, more actual aggregation of data, click up your product. Now, my favorite's Notion because of the fact that it has the aesthetic and it has an API connection, right? Like it has recurring tasks, recurring templates, all of these sort of things. I ended up just going really hard and making a bunch of different automations that work with these different products sets that, you know, make my experience better. Like it doesn't have a Google Calendar integration. I was able to by hand with make.com, make a Google Calendar integration that syncs every couple hours. So like if you know how to do that kind of stuff, you know, and you have this 
this meeting automatically like syncing and that's all that that's all great you know it's like it's if you can do it like me i think notion is a great place for you to tinker and stuff but honestly if you're looking for a preset out of the box type of thing click up probably for you I use Notion because I'm a tinkerer. I like to kind of mess around with stuff and make it look nice and make it more specific. But the preset stuff that you have inside of ClickUp is really nice too. And ClickUp 3.0 is pretty solid overall. So if you have any questions about the differences, please make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I try to give a broad overview of the reason one would pick one over the other. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.